Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Easy Learning Web. For your information, this is our second episode of Sparks in the Dark Learning English Online Series. Hi, so we should brought to you by Easy Learning Web. You may call me Madam Chu. I'm from SJKC Yuktun Padaling Jaya Selangor, and I'm your moderator of the day. So I would like to know, is there any new bees today? Is that your first time joining us at Easy Learning Web? All right, maybe some of you still might not know what Easy Learning Web is. It is a meaningful and educational online series created by the Ministry of Education. And all the lessons here are well planned and taught by experienced school teachers. You will see different teachers every two weeks. They are all experienced teachers from all over Malaysia. Most importantly, these learning webs all free. So what you need to do is just sit back and of course pay attention throughout the lesson and you definitely will gain something after them. Alright. So I have some reminders for you without before we get on with our lesson today. Let's have a look at the reminders, yeah? First of all, since the lesson is going to last for an hour, therefore, we hope to have your full attention throughout the lesson. You can jot down the notes on a piece of paper, on your notebook, or any devices at your convenience. You can respond to the questions later by typing in the chat box or comment section. And please, please, all right? Please remember to comment politely and positively to ensure that we have a productive session. Please do not comment with negative words that might hurt someone's feelings. You can always use earphones for better audio or adjust your video to a better resolution for the best viewing experience. Last but not least, this live session will be available on both Easy Learning Web's Facebook page and also YouTube. You may watch and replay them at your convenience. All right, are you ready? Now, I have two tasks for you. As you can see on the screen, this is the Easy Learning Web Facebook page. I need you to exercise your fingers to move your cursor to like button and click on it. All right? No worries, you can also do it later. Next, this is the Easy Learning Web YouTube channel. You can type on the YouTube channel and look for Easy Learning Web. Okay, likewise, please move your cursor over the subscribe button and click on it. And yep, congratulations. Once you have accomplished your tasks, you will be able to get notifications of our upcoming Sparks in the Dark Learn English Online Series. Good. All right, so what's the topic of the day again? Do you remember? Mm, it's about celebrations. I guess all of us like all kinds of celebrations. Okay? Celebrations bring a lot of happiness and joys. Who doesn't like celebrations, isn't it? All right, now I wish to introduce our presenter of the day. She is Madam Wun Wen Li. She's an English teacher from SJKC Connacht 2, Selangor. So, Madam Wu is going to share with us about the celebrations from around the world. Are you ready? Let's welcome Madam Wu. Hello, everyone. All right. So, I'm Madam Wu. May I know which school are you from since I'm from SJKC Connect 2? Can you just type at the chat box and show me which school are you from? Anyone from the same school as me? Which school are you from? Yes, hello everyone. Which school are you from? Okay, I can see some of you from the same school as me. Yes, welcome. All right. So for today, what are we going to learn? We are going to learn about celebration. Last week, Mr. Liu already talked about foods from around the world. And this week, I'm still going to bring you around the world. And for this time, I'm going to show you celebration. Okay, just look at the pictures here. Do you know any celebrations in this picture? 
maybe the top right or bottom right or maybe the bottom left do you know what festival is this uh, they dress like a skeleton like um ghost so what festival is this okay uh, if you know do you type it in the chat box or perhaps do you like this color festival uh, this is one of the fast very popular top 10 festival in the world which is holy holy festival is celebrated in india okay and then this one look at this now wow do we have this in malaysia ah there is only one that you can find it in malaysia okay at uh, the bottom left bottom right okay look at the bottom right the indian so what festival is this this is thai Busem. yes okay the pavali okay uh is the the main word is Taipusen, okay, so they have parade that attract a lot of tourists. Huh? Do you know this? This one covered with, with mud. Uh, this is the mud festival in Korea. Uh, how about this? The red. Wow, how come the body, the face are covered with tomato? Okay, so this is the La Tomatina festival in Spain. Okay, and then for this green festival, this one is the St. Patrick's Day in the USA or Ireland. Okay, so they wish good luck, they wish for good luck, and therefore they celebrate this St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so enough of introduction. What are we going to do today? Okay, I remember we are learning English. So today we are going to write one paragraph. Okay. On your favorite celebration, ha, huh? don't ha, don't ha, don't ha, okay? Why? Just one paragraph. And what makes it different is today I will pick the top five paragraph, okay? If I put a like and I ask you, congratulations, which school are you from, okay? So you will receive a small token of appreciation from me, okay? Just tell me your name and your school, okay? I will send it to your school. Okay, so are you ready? While waiting for the rest to come in, okay, the main thing for today is I need you to prepare a piece of paper or maybe notebook. If you wish to prepare your this Get Smart textbook, you, you may. If you don't want, just leave it aside. Or uh, perhaps this, those who are from year five, okay, you can prepare this English plus one. Okay, we are going to use this today. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to write. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, now the first thing that I would like you to do is, can you please draw this visual organizer, okay, on a piece of paper? Please make it big, okay? Don't draw a very small hamburger, okay? Make it big. This is the top, okay, the top bar, the top break. This is the bottom and maybe some salad. And then the meat and then the salad again okay so please draw it on a piece of paper okay very fast one a simple hamburger and i believe some of you might be having this expression why madam moon is asking us to draw a hamburger is she going to treat us to eat a hamburger okay yes yeah, just to let you know while you are drawing Okay, this hamburger visual organizer can really help you in writing. You must always remember if your hamburger look nice, that means you have a good and strong paragraph in which this is like the topic sentence. Okay, uh, the second layer, can you see transition? Remember last week, Mr. Liu taught you on first second next then furthermore moreover okay all these are the transition that you may add in your paragraph okay and then and all the meat okay will be the details or some example okay and last one and and it with a concluding sentence okay so are you ready with your hamburger template make sure you write please make sure you draw this visual organizer okay i uh, just no need to be very nice okay i uh, just to let you know if you really have a nice hamburger with a lot of words here it's like a delicious hamburger 
burger and that means that you have a good and strong paragraph okay i hope you can listen to me okay so let's get started okay now do a quick revision first do you still remember what are the countries that you have learned last week okay or maybe the first unit in year four are the in starter unit year five you did this revision also right okay so tell me the first one if you don't know i doubt where are you from okay this one is the flat of okay look at the first one this is the flat of our country malaysia okay now i need i need you to exercise your finger tell me what flat is this look at the second one second one second tell me what flat is this what flat is this look at the second one what flat is the second one now okay yes i can see a lot of malaysia now i'm in the second okay yes very good the united state okay the short form is the us okay the united state do you know how many white stars are there did you ever count before how many white stars are there okay and what do the stars symbolize okay okay nobody's answer yet okay okay to let you know they are 50 five zero 50 they are 50 star here okay this 50 star represent 50 state state means negeri tosu okay in united state okay and the 13 line is just like malaysia okay and they have 13 regions okay now how about the third one okay uh where is this from okay what flat is this okay this is a country where queen elizabeth is in okay this is a country where prince william okay is in so what country is this yes very good i can see valerie with the answer uk okay yes mainly marcus young very good okay all went kid i think from my school the uk okay yes this is the united kingdom okay now fourth the fourth one i have to be fast okay wow there is a very nice eagle there can you all tell me the fourth one what is that the fourth one what flat is this the fourth one okay what flat is this the fourth one okay with an eagle in the middle yes very good seen how you are the first one that answer and eve congratulations this is mexico okay this is mexico okay now the fifth one what flat is this the fifth one now the fifth one fifth 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 okay a lot of mexico now okay look, look like a football in the middle okay but it's not a football okay yes Ung Seng Yu, you're the first one congratulations brazil this is brazil okay now how about this the fifth one i believe a lot of you love this country with your famous idol like bts girls generation exo okay super junior anymore blackpink okay so what country is this okay yes korea okay ah uh, so this is your favorite country i believe korea okay with all the bts okay uh girls generation okay i not i'm not very sure of, of all this okay but i think you know better than me okay now here come the last one okay what what flat is this the red what flat is this can you all tell me let's see who is the first one oh how come i can see a japan japan answer there okay this is yes yeah, seen how you are first again this is the china flat okay yes this is china okay well done well done all of you did a good job okay this revision very perfect okay so if anyone asks you hey what festival do the people in your country celebrate how are you going to answer how are you going to write do you know the language structures that you should use remember we are learning english now okay not just the facts that i have to tell you okay a very simple way last week you learned nationality okay remember then you fill in the nationality at the first the first color okay and then the name of the festival you put it there okay there you get a sentence okay so who celebrate what festival there is it okay similar as that okay so and what you need to be careful is did you see the first structure there is a s normally i call this as superman okay why superman okay super 
Superman only help one person to do action. Remember, Superman only help one person to do action. So whenever you talk about one person, maybe a Malaysian or maybe a Brazilian, celebrate. Okay, remember the Superman will fly in to help, okay, to do the action together. When a lot of ready, okay, the Superman is not going to fly in. Okay, uh, so this is the structure that you need to know. Okay, now let's continue with our topic celebration. Okay, as you know, Anastasia is a British. Okay, so what festival does Anastasia celebrate? Can you spot? The main features like pumpkin, skeleton. In fact, the page 119, I get it from your Supermind textbook. Okay, so what is this? What festival is this? Okay, this, yes, very good. Valerie again. Valerie sang you and ye. Okay, yes, this is Halloween. Okay, uh, Halloween to us maybe. It's like an entertainment, okay? It's like a day for people to have fun, dressed like a ghost, dressed like a skeleton. In fact, it's not in the UK or not in the US, okay? Let me hide this first, okay? So, Halloween actually is a day, okay, where they believe their soul, okay, will come back, okay? The soul of the day will come back. So, they were dressed like, uh, it, like a dead person, okay? And then they will lead bonfires to ward off, okay? Their spirit, okay? So let's construct a sentence now, okay? The sentence will be, okay? If one person, okay, the sentence will be Anastasia, comma, who is, who is she? A British, one person, huh? Celebrates. Halloween, okay? So the first one, the first one, I give it, I give the answer to you. Now let's mo move on to the second one, okay? Remember the S, huh? one person do, Superman flies in, okay? Now, we talk about Jew now, American. Can you tell me any festival that you know that American celebrate? Can you just brainstorm? Halloween, yes. Halloween is celebrated by the UK and the US. Okay, that means the British and the Americans both celebrate. How about other festival? Okay, how about other festival? Do you all know anyone? Let me check your answer. See if I can find any Christmas. Yes, okay, good. Okay, thank you, good. Ha, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Okay, I, I think you are going to laugh at the first picture. Okay, the dance, okay. This is a traditional costume by the Hawaiian. Okay, by the Hawaiian. That's why Hawaiian always dance like that. Okay, uh, so uh, this festival is called Aloha Festival. Okay, uh, why do they celebrate this? Uh, don't laugh. We have to respect their yeah? respect means homat zunzong. Okay, we have to respect their culture. Even in Malaysia, we have this costume. Do you know? Okay, like Orang Iban. Okay, they have this type of costume as well. Okay, this is their traditional costume. Okay, so why do they dance this? Okay, and wear like this? Okay, they want to protect, they want to preserve the Hawaiian heritage and culture. Okay, on this day, there will some like street performances, dancing, okay, music show, uh, like, like this, okay, wearing traditional costume. And did you look at this, the photo that, ha that has a lot of spoon, okay, food tasting, okay, there is a workshop that teach them how to cook Hawaiian food as well. Okay, so in fact, this festival is quite special, okay, do have a visit, okay, uh, you see, this is the parade, they will dress in their Hawaiian costume, okay, and they will have parade, uh, year five, year five parade, okay, this word yo sing, okay, is in your textbook, okay, so how are we going to construct the sentence, okay, a lot of people, so we start with Americans, okay, At some Americans, uh, no more as okay, because a lot of Americans are there already. So the Superman feel shy, okay? Some Americans celebrate Aloha Festival, okay? Aloha Festival, okay? Uh, so if you wish to know more, just Google a lot of festival. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, do you still remember Carlos? Okay, Carlos, can you tell me where is Carlos from? From this, from this comic, okay? From 
from this comic, can you tell me where does Kalos Kalos come from? Where does Kalos come from? Okay, Kalos come from a country that has an eagle. Okay, on its flag. Okay, so what? Yes, Lim En E. Yes, not India. Okay, yes, En E. Good answer, Mexico. Okay, so if he is from Mexico, what is his nationality? What is his nationality? I believe last week Mr. Liu has taught you nationality. Okay, so Mexico, you have to change to Maxi. Yes, very good. Who seen how? Okay, Who seen I'm and Valerie are so active. Okay, so what festival do the Mexicans celebrate? You look at this. Okay, uh, again, look like Hallow Halloween, but this time no pumpkin. Okay, no pumpkin, and they dress it like a very col in very colorful costume. Okay, what festival is this? Okay, can anyone tell me before I click next to show you the answer? Mexicans celebrate this festival to remember the people who already passed away, their relative that already passed away. Same like same like this uh, Halloween. Uh, Halloween, they dress like a skeleton to remember people who already died. Okay, and this Mexican, they use another way, but the purpose, muti, is the same. Is to remember, to remember people who already died. Okay, Holly, not Holly, Killer Day, not Killer Day. Yes, I saw the answer. Tan Xuan Ming, very good. Day of the Dead. Okay, this is in year five. Year five, you will learn this. Okay, this is a time for the for your family and friends. Okay, uh, to remember and pray for people who already who have died. Okay, and so they will have parade. This is how uh, American, okay, American and the British they celebrate Halloween. Mexican, they have Day of the Day, okay, to remember people who already died. So now I'm going to ask you, how about Malaysian? How do we remember people who have died? How? Okay, like Mexican, they have Day of the Day. American and the British, they do have Halloween. How about Malaysian? How about Malaysian? How do we remember people who already died? Okay, can can I can I see your answer? Okay, okay, mainly they. Okay, yes, you look at this photo. Yes, Ching Ming, who is that dizzy bird? Okay, yes, good, Ching Ming Jie. Yes, very good, Kok Sun Yu. Okay, so for Chinese Buddhists, okay, or Taoism, normally they will go to the graveyard, they will burn the papers, okay, and then they will pray with flowers and food. And then you look at Christian. The same thing, the, the, the one with the cross, okay, is a Christian. They will bring flowers and then they read their Bible, okay. Ah, you look at the Malay one. Do you all know when Malay visit the graveyard? Okay, you say Chinese visit during Changbang, Qingmingjie. How about Malay? When do they visit the graveyard? When do they visit the tombs? When? Malay. Yes, Malay, when do they? Coming soon, you know, they are going to they are going to visit if la if okay if they are allowed. This year I, I cannot guarantee because of COVID-19. Yes, Alexander, very good. You have you have a general knowledge on this. Yes. Hari Raya. Okay. Hari Raya, they will dress nicely and go to the tomb to go to the graveyard to read their Alquran. Bible, okay, Malay's Bible, the Al-Quran, okay, and then they will bring some flower, you see, all of us, all the races share the similarities, all of us bring flowers, okay, yes, Hari Raya, okay, so they will just go there, uh, they read to their own, uh, they read their Al-Quran, bring flowers, and Indian, Indian don't have Changbang, Indian don't, uh, don't celebrate on Deepavali, do you all know when Indian or Hindus visit the graveyard and you can see a note it's the same like chinese also flowers food indian food okay so for indians they will visit the graveyard okay on the day on the anniversary okay the death anniversary that means the day that the deceased passed away okay so on the day death anniversary they will visit the Graveyard. Ah, we start day. Is it a graveyard? Oh, no, no. Okay, not we start day. No, 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 not we start day. We start day is not related to Hinduism. 
Okay, uh, so they visit on the day, okay, that the deceased, that means people who already passed away, on the day, on that day. Okay, uh, so for Hinduism, they use such a way. Okay, so uh, in order for you to understand why are we using overseas textbook, you have to know how to compare Malaysian, Mexican, British, American. And then you think, what are the similarities? What are the differences? Okay, when you know how to compare, congratulations, you are on the right track. Okay, now, so let's move on. Brazilian, okay, what festival? What festival, okay, does do the Brazilians celebrate? Okay, a bit like the, what is that called? Aloha Festival. Yes, they celebrate this Rio de Janeiro Carnival. And do you know, this is the biggest carnival in the world. Okay, they will celebrate from Friday night until Wednesday. Okay, and what do they do? So many many days yes they dance their samba dance i cannot show you samba dances because it's a bit sexy okay so samba dance they wear in their traditional costume uh, throughout the days they will be dancing uh, but before that they need to abstain from meat cannot eat meat no alcohol okay wine joke cannot okay on certain days uh, because this is a way for them to drive away to, uh, to get rid uh, to get rid of bad things in their Life, okay, just like in Thailand, okay, they have this water festival, right? Okay, they spray water on you to get rid of all the bad things, okay, all the bad deed you have did you have done, sorry, you have done previously. Ah, this is in Brazil. Brazil used this way. Thailand, Siamese, they will use the water, okay, they will spray the water, okay. To those who pass by, okay? Uh, so, this is the biggest carnival in the world, okay? Uh, so, uh, now we go to Chinese now, okay? Chinese, I think coming soon as well. This is the Dragon Boat Festival. I can see most of you, 99% of you are Chinese here. So, without telling you, this is Dragon Boat Festival, okay? And... What do we do eat on that day? Dumpling. This is called dumpling. Okay, dumpling. And then we will have this dragon boat race. Okay, uh, look at the Chinese word. Now I'm going to show you the Korean style of Tuan Wu Jie, but it's different, different purpose. Chinese one is to remember the well-loved Chinese poet Qu Yuan, ah, but not for Korean. Okay, now I show you Korean one. Dano festival. Okay, is the Chinese word is the same like the one we have in our in our Chinese culture Duan Wu. Okay, so this Dano festival is actually a day uh, that they believe is filled with a lot of positive energy. Okay. So what do they do? Okay, uh, yes, the Koreans celebrate Dano Festival. Uh, they will wash their hair, okay, under the sun with this Chang Po water. Okay, other than that, oh, they will have Korean wrestling, WWE, but this is Korean style, okay, Korean style, okay, Korean wrestling. And then, huh, you see, they jump on the seesaw, jumping game on the seesaw. Okay, so uh, we are here to learn other people's culture. That's why they introduce you Korean. Okay, Korean flat. Okay, to let you know more. When you Google, ah, you look at the flat. Ah, you know you can spot that one is Korea. Okay, ah, so this is one of the, one of the, ah, sumo. I can see uh, one of you, Sinhao, say sumo. Sumo is from which country? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, there is another name for Korean. Okay, Korean wrestling. Sumo, if I'm not mistaken, should be Japan. Okay. Uh, so this is what do the Koreans do on this Dano festival? Yes, Han Yang is indeed dangerous, but it's fun. Okay. Uh, now let's compare the food. Okay. For Chinese Tuan Wu, okay, that means the Dragon Boat Festival, we eat this dumpling. But for Koreans Tuan Wu, Koreans Dano, this is the rice cake rice cake okay uh, so you, can you compare can you see chinese we have our own style of duan wu korean has their own style of duan wu as well okay uh, so uh, we we learn their culture and the thing is 
respect okay english we must put in moral values as well respect okay we respect people's culture wow so colorful okay uh, if i'm not mistaken this is top 10 in the world this festival okay this is called holy holy not holiday but seem like look like a holiday okay is to mark the arrival of spring okay and signify yeah good over the evil okay uh, so this is holy festival okay this is holy festival and they will not just play okay before they smear all the color powder uh, in the morning they will have this religious ritual uh, this is called bonfire this is the bonfire like a campfire but it's not campfire uh. bonfire okay uh, so this one is the bonfire is the, the, the ritual the prayer okay uh, after the prayer uh, then they play with the color okay they smear the color powder holy so happy okay holy festival okay yes don't eat okay so this is a festival that is very famous among Indians. Okay, so the Indians celebrate Holi festival. Okay, yes, respect, good. Okay, now let me test you on Malaysia. Huh? Activity one now. Activity one, very simple one. Just tell me true or false. Okay, uh, now first one. Okay, Hari Raya Ideal Victory marks the start of Ramadan. Wasa, okay, and it's considered the festival of gratitude, gan en, to God, and an occasion celebrated with families and loved ones. It is also the time of feast, makan makan, okay, homecoming, contemplation, and forgiveness, okay. Uh, if you do something wrong, you you break your friend's thing, you return something back to him or her, okay. Ah, uh, so true or false? Ah, hey hey hey, this question is very tricky. This best, this question is very tricky. How come all of you try <laughs> right through? This question is super super tricky. Nobody get right yet. Oh no, what happened? Is my teaching fail? <laughs> this the answer is false. Okay, nobody get right. Okay, Hari Raya marks the end. That's why the last. After the last day of Puasa, then they comes the Hari Raya. Okay, yes, now, now a lot of boss. Okay, Hari Raya is the end, end, ha, end, tamat, okay, end of Ramadan. Ramadan is Puasa. Hey, do you know why do they have fasting, man? Okay, fasting means Puasa. Cannot eat from Subo time, if I'm not mistaken, until 7 plus plus, okay? Uh, because they want to wash away all their bad deeds, okay? And to ask for forgiveness. That's why they have this fasting man, Malay, okay? Uh, fasting, cannot eat, no water, no food, okay, nothing, okay? This is false, huh? GG, okay? Game over, not yet. Okay, now, the Chinese will have their reunion dinner on the first day of Chinese New Year. Let me see true or false. The Chinese will have their reunion dinner on the first day. Uh, what is that called? Uh, yeah, okay, true or false? Okay, luckily, I can see the answer false, huh? True, Xin Hao, true, Queening, Evelyn, Chen Chuan Chuan, also false. Okay, this one is false it, because this is not the first day, it's one day before Chinese New Year. Okay, the Chinese will have the reunion dinner, Tuan Yuan Fan, huh? the word Kai Yuan Fan, okay. Yes, one day before Chinese New Year, okay? Not on the first day, okay? We follow the majority, okay? I don't talk about modern, okay? I know modern people always change the rules, okay? But we follow the traditional one, okay? Ah, now this one, Hindu, Hindu, ah, Hindu. Celebrate Deepavali, are known as the Festival of Lights. It is a celebration that marks the victory of the forces of good over evil. True or false? True or false? Okay, uh, Ngan Joyi, your answer refer to this or the, the, the or the, sec the previous one. Okay, baby, good. 
Oh, ho? Oh, no, true. Okay, yes, true. A lot of true now. Yes, very good. Okay, true. Okay, uh, this light. Okay, uh, they celebrate festival of light. And Deepavali has another name called festival of light because they believe the light can chase away all the bad spirit. Okay, uh, chase away. So when chase away all the, all the bad spirit, that means victory. Victory means Winning, winning, victory, okay? Uh, victory of the forces of good over evil. Okay, very good. Okay, a lot of true now. Ah, uh -huh, now, you see, I say already, Aloha Festival, and you don't laugh at people costume because in Malaysia, we do have this costume as well. Ah, uh, but I didn't say, I didn't say the answer is true, huh? You tell me it's true or false. Hari Gawa is an animal festival celebrated by the Dayak people in Sabah. Sabah. Uh, in fact, the photo can, can have some idea, okay? What is this? Wow, true. A lot of true. Alexander Foss, Hanyang Iban, Valerie, true, true. Alexander Foss again, Xuanming Foss, Brian Foss. Yes, very good. The answer is false, okay? You see, you look at the costume. Just now, Aloha Festival, they wear the, the Hawaiian costume. In Malaysia, we do have this this as well okay and they are wearing all the skeleton the bones on their body okay maybe belongs to their ancestor okay so this is not in sabah in sarawak sarawak okay the very big big state okay sarawak okay ha, now next one Pesta Kaamatan, Kaamatan is a form of harvest festival celebrated in sabah is it true or false by Kadazan Dusun. This time, true or false? Just tell me, true or false? Okay, Hanyang false. Okay, fancy. Do you want to type false or fancy? Okay, false or uh, true or uh, true, false, true, false. Half, half, huh? True, true, true. Jeremy, true. Okay, yes, true. Okay, the answer is true. Okay, it is normally celebrated by Kadazan Dusun. And this is indeed a festival in Sabah, okay? So, you have learned a lot of festival. I hope you remember, okay? Then my objective is achieved, okay? Good job, everyone. Okay, back to something that you dislike, but I will make it as good as possible, okay? As interesting as possible. Uh, look at your hamburger template, okay? I have two here. One is the one black and white. Another one is this, okay? We just need to write three to four sentences. This one may be not for you. This one may be for secondary school. Okay, three to four sentences. How to write? Okay, you imagine now you want to eat burger. You like A or you like B? Anyone like B? Show me and tell me why you like B. Tell me why you like B. A or B? Which one? If you eat a hamburger, which one do you like? A or B? A or B? Yes, A, Jeremy, A, Jeremy, A, A, A. Wow, so many Jeremy. Okay, yes, of course we like A. No matter what is the meat, chicken, fish, beef, okay, or any, okay. And in Indian, okay, you look at, you look, go and look for McDonald's around the world. There are a lot of special hamburger in the world, okay. Uh, so B is like E, not nice, just like your paragraph. If you just have the topping and then the bottom, the paragraph is not that interesting, okay? So, uh, and then, don't be greedy. Put suitable amount of ingredient. Not too much, not too little, okay? Adequate, suitable, okay? Uh, not too much, not too little, okay? This is the keyword, okay? So, make sure you plan. Don't just straight away, right? Okay, make sure you plan, okay? This is the repeating one, okay? I don't know what to write. Teacher, I understand your hamburger, but I don't know how to write. How? Ah, in year one to year three, I think you already know all the WH word. You ask from help. That means you ask yourself, what? what? What am I going to write? Okay, who am I going to celebrate with? When am I going to celebrate? You ask yourself using WH words. Okay, you ask yourself using WH word. So, my first question is, what is your favorite celebration? Okay, don't just tell me Chinese New Year. 
Mooncake Festival. Uh, don't want, don't want. This is not English, okay? This is moral, okay? You can use two structures, okay? If you don't know how to write, you, you use the one that I show you. First one, you can say, My favorite celebration is what? Is what? Okay? Hey, teacher, I don't like. Then you use this one. I enjoy celebrating what the most. Okay, so I give you one minute. Can you type? Show me, uh, tell me what is your favorite celebration. Can be any festival, any celebration from around the world. Doesn't mean that have to be the one that you celebrate. Okay, so can you use this true structure? Just one sentence. You have to write it on the top break and then you can type it in the YouTube or Facebook chat room. If you type, make sure you copy to Microsoft Word. Huh? Later, you get one paragraph already. Okay? My target is not homework. My target is by 5 p.m. You have one paragraph already. This is my target. Okay? I already say uh, I'm, I'm teaching you English. So don't just tell me Christmas, Chinese New Year. Uh, this is general knowledge. Okay? Uh, English, my favorite celebration. Favorite common spelling error. Okay? You always spell the US one. Or I enjoy celebrating. Of course, there are some other some other ways of writing. Okay, my favorite celebration is Christmas. My favorite celebration is our Chinese New Year and Hari Gawai. And your S uh, Hanyang, my favorite celebrations. Okay, of our Chinese New Year. Okay, and Hari Gawai. My favorite celebration is Chinese New Year. Oh, everyone the same answer. I enjoy celebrating. Ting, ting. Okay. Uh, there is one person, Kelly. Okay. Maybe typing error. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. Ah, uh, but I can see a lot of Chinese New Year. Small letter. Is it right? Okay. Later, I will tell you. Okay. So, uh, don't compare with your elder brother or sister, the one with UPSR era. Okay. Your era, the tip is creative. Write without fear. Did you read the storybook like Diary of a Wimpy Kid? It'd be creative. You can write any style you want, but make sure uh, you use the right structure. Okay, interesting. Very, hey, something different. Okay, content. Uh, then you can be a writer. You sell it online, okay, or anywhere. Okay, so we let's move on to the second sentence now. Okay, two more sentences, you get the paragraph ready. Okay, trust me. So, we can invite some other WH word. Okay, if you have textbook, this is in page 40. You look at how the author write. We are going to, we are going to, I am going to, my parents are going to. And the other one, I am not going to. Okay, so in fact, the details is very simple. You just need to ask yourself, what am I going to do? What am I going to do on this day? Okay, uh, so there are three structures, simple one. Hey, there are some other ways to uh, be creative, okay? We are going to, I am going to, I am not going to. Okay, so can you please write, show me, show me uh, your detail can be longer than one sentence. What are you going to do on this day? A uh, must according to the first sentence that you write. Okay, you can, just now I asked you to draw this, right? You can write one sentence, two sentences. Okay, one on the salad, one on the meat. Okay, just now you have my favorite celebration is what? Okay, and then two details, two details. I will just use the simple way, okay? I'm going to see, to watch, send you to watch fireworks, okay? It's okay to make errors, okay? It's okay to make errors. I learn from mistakes as well, okay? Nobody is perfect, okay? Uh, it's okay to have mistake, okay? So, can you show me? I can only see Sang Yu's answer now. Give me one detail. What are you going to do on this day? Or maybe you don't like this. You can ask, why do you like this festival? Why? Why do you like this festival? Who are you going to celebrate with? Or when do you celebrate? You can use other way. This is for those who are slightly weak, don't know what to write, then you use my way, okay? I am got to celebration. Okay, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Mm, birthday, not, not very suitable, okay? A birthday, 
Okay, I um, let me look for some other. Y yes, I am. I'm going to joke. W w what festival is that? When are you going to joke? Okay, okay. So I am waiting. Maybe you need time to think. Okay, or you ask yourself, why do you like this festival? Why? Why do you like this festival? Ah, I, I saw one good answer. I'm going to eat reunion dinner with my grandparents and cousins. Okay, eat, I would suggest you to replace with have. Valerie, I am going to have reunion dinner with my grandparents and cousins. Okay, good answer. I am going to celebrate Hari Gawai. How? How? Dancing? Okay, or anything that you want to do, I'm going to study. Whoa, okay, your festival, are you going to study? Okay, is it very boring? After, the, after that, I'm going to watch some YouTube video. Okay, make it more interesting, please. Okay, now, so or uh, maybe you want to write about Dano Festival. Okay, you can say the... You don't say I, you can say the Koreans are going to wash their hair with Changpo water. The Koreans are going to watch Korean wrestling. The Koreans are going to have jumping game on a seesaw. Okay, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I don't, don't want birthday, don't want birthday. Okay, ignore, ignore. Okay, I'm going to have a big family dinner on New Year Eve. Very good, Hui Ning. Okay, I'm going to shopping. I'm going to shop. For some Christmas decoration. Good. Okay, Kelly. Okay, my favorite celebration is Chinese New Year. I like Chinese New Year. My family and I is going to visit my grandparents. Okay, I'm so happy to see my grandmother and have dinner with my grandmother. Okay, repeated ideas. Okay, repeated ideas. Okay, so there are a lot that you can write. But don't be greedy. Okay, just choose the one that you are confident. Okay, now... So just now I said I can spot a lot of Chinese New Year in small letter. Please remember the name of the celebration must be in capital letter, big letter. Okay, if you are very excited, then you can use exclamation mark, 感叹号, okay? Ah, uh, try not to comma, 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 comma. This is Chinese style. English it is already a complete sentence, full stop. Okay, avoid. I don't say don't. Avoid. Yin Okay, avoid using so many comma, 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 comma. Avoid. Okay. Ah, now I can see a lot of answers now. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to read in a while. Keep your answer. Huh? Now, ah, yeah, finally, the last sentence. Last, last. One paragraph. I say already three minutes straight. Okay. So, how are you going to conclude it? Okay, connect back to the title. Tell your wish. Uh, maybe you talk about Holy Festival. I wish I could go to India one day to enjoy this Holy Festival. Who knows? Okay. Uh, you must provide a sense of closure. Okay. I and for example, I enjoy this celebration very much. It is indeed, uh, indeed, it's a year six word. It is really a, an awesome festival. Okay, this is how I close it okay i know i i know you are hungry a lot of people will tell me very hungry to have to to be in my class okay so now it's time to write okay you already wrote actually okay you already wrote this one you are going to transfer it okay to padlet okay i uh, look at the detail just now i talk about this okay other than what are you going to do there are other ways of writing why why is this festival special? Who do you celebrate with? When do you celebrate this? Where did you celebrate? And how you feel toward this celebration? So many. Okay, you can write. Okay, just choose one or two later. Okay, now this is the simple way that we already did. Okay, just do a quick revision. Okay, this is the closing. Ah, here comes my sample paragraph. Remember, just now I asked you to write here, write here, and write here. When you combine all together, there comes, okay, there is your delicious hamburger, okay? So you look at my, my sample paragraph. I enjoy Mooncake Festival the most. 
on this day, I am going to eat the yummy mooncake. Nobody talk about mooncake festival just now, okay? Then my brothers and I are going to play the lantern, okay? I really have a will of a time on this day. I love mooncake festival the most, okay? So this is so-called a good and strong paragraph, okay? Ah, this is what you're supposed to achieve before you leave the primary school. A2, I remember, A2 level, okay? So there is an idiom here, okay? Can you please type at the chat box, what is the idiom? Please spot it. Idiom, maybe Chinese is called yan yu, but it's not really correct. Ah. Or peri bahasa, okay? It's like an interesting phrase, okay? Can you please spot the, spot the idiom, please? Let me see. There is one, there is one idiom here, okay? There is one idiom. Will of a time. Hannah, good. Valerie, Kelly. Oh, okay, Kelly don't have the answer. Chow Zilap, okay. Okay, Lee Jia En. Okay, good. Okay, yes. A will of a time, okay? Yes, the idiom is a will of a time, okay? A will of a time means happy, okay? So if you don't like this, you can use over the moon, great time, awesome time, a lot of words that you can use it to replace as happy as a lark, okay, simile, okay, so these simple phrases, okay, these simple phrases will make your paragraph colourful, okay, that's why I put be creative, okay, yes, a way of that, a way of that, Alexander, okay, yes, okay, ah, now, almost come to the, the end, okay, remember, don't be greedy. Don't write one paragraph for so long. Uh, this is the hamburger. Overflow. Too, too much, okay? Overflow with feelings and end up spilling. Okay, so your paragraph will become very, very, very messy. Okay, so please, okay, don't write so long for a paragraph. Divide into one or two paragraphs if really that long, okay? Don't write so long, okay? Just remember my hamburger, Madam Moon's hamburger, okay, like that, okay? So you, you will mess your hair as well. Your hair will be very messy, okay? Everything's spilling, okay? Uh, so, but there are people, hey, how are you going to eat? Is your mouth that big? I wonder, is your mouth that big to eat this hamburger? Okay, so now, okay, uh, just now you already have three sentences, right? Okay, please go to this link, okay? I will ask the moderator to send the link. Okay, now the link is there, the link is there. Please click the link. You type all your answer in one paragraph, okay? Maybe I will just click this as well, okay? You look at this link now. Okay, I already put it there. I already have one, one sample here. Hey, but don't copy mine. If you copy mine, I'm not going to give you a love here. Okay, if I give you a love and I ask you, congratulations, which school are you from? Okay, that means you win the game. Okay, so what are you going to do? I, I will just show you one example. You click add. Okay. Do you want to put photo like me? Yes, please do, okay? You go to the third button, Google, okay? For example, you want to talk about Aloha Fest, okay? You want to talk about Tai Pusum. You want to talk about Tai Pusum, okay? Uh, so you just go to images, okay? Ah, you say you want this. Wow, what is this? Ha, ah, that? The photo is there already, okay? So the title, you tell me your... Favorite celebration, okay? And then you type all your answer here, but don't do this, okay? Please use the right way of typing, okay? I will give me some, a few hours. I will check your answer later, okay? So please do now, okay? Please do now. There is another five minutes before 5 p.m., 
Okay. Wow. So many answers here. Wow. I'm so happy to see all the answers. Hey, Alexander, I don't want hi. An anonymous. I'm going to delete your answer. Okay. No hi. Okay. No hi. Uh, Christmas, please write something. I did it. Okay. Uh, so please type your answer. Hey, yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. You have the Christmas. You can even put Jiva, the one that is moving. Okay. Alexander, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. I enjoy. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. You just, just now I asked you to write it here, right? You just type out, type out. Okay. Even already after 5 p.m., you can still type your answer. Don't worry. I'm not going to close this. Okay. I'm not going to close this. Okay. Okay. So I really wish you learned something from me today. Okay. Remember, what is your favorite celebration? What are you going to do? Okay, do you enjoy this? Why do you like this? Okay, uh, a closing. One paragraph only, okay? If you really type one paragraph already, I really want to give you two thumbs up. <laughs> I really have two, okay? Two thumbs up, okay? You try your best. You put in effort. Don't be afraid of mistake. Mistake doesn't matter, okay? So I think I shall pass my time back to this... Um, Moderator, okay, I, I shall pass back to moderator, okay, thank you, and I hope you enjoy this one hour lesson, okay. All right. Thank you so much, Madam Moon, for your amazing sharing today. I think all of us are probably hungry right now after seeing the big hamburger. So students, I hope you have learned a lot from Madam Wood about the celebrations and of course, how to write a good paragraph by using the hamburger writing strategy. And do not forget Madam Wood's advice, yeah? Do not be greedy. Never ever be greedy. You shouldn't have put too much filling in your burger which means you should not write too many ideas in a paragraph, right? Well, we are almost at the end of our lesson. We hope you had a great session with Madam Moon once again. Before you leave, please like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing so, you will be able to replay and get notifications of our next Sparks in the Dark Learn English online series. And our next session will be on 17 May. Remember? Okay, our next session will be on 17 May from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. What will be the next session be about? Mm, stay tuned. Hope to see you again in our next session. All right, and goodbye. Bye-bye.